Well, here we are fixing to build a fixing it. It's a verb, by the way. Uh, we're about to build a clock for rib crib in Cersei, Arkansas, specifically for Tonsi, the manager of the rib crib in Cersei, Arkansas. Known the girl since she was a few months old. Fantastic lady. Love her to death. She asked me last night at Ladies Not Out to produce a clock for her company and again more specifically for her so we're going to manufacture this clock and we were going to go with the stainless steel but I didn't find a stainless steel clock in town so this is what we've come up with and since their colors are red we're going to use this red clock and we're going to use this logo that we put together last night. It's actually their own logo. And this is, I'm not infringing upon their rights. I was asked to put their logo on the clock. So there you go, guys. We're going to do this right here. And I'm going to cut to the chase. I'm going to cut some of this stuff out. So we'll start to stop the film. And right now, where we're at, we're going to disassemble this clock and then get this thing ready to go. We're going to have to, of course, trim the circle out of this paper. This is 100 pound <laughs> film or paper stock. So we're going to cut this out. Then we've got to locate center and we've got to put a hole in here for the clock hands to come through in the shaft. So, real quickly, I'm going to stop the film. But you know what? Let's see. This is impromptu and I'm doing this without tools and all that stuff here. So let me stop the clock and, and I'll be right back. The next back. thing you want to do, the most important thing that you want to do, no matter what clockworks you use, whether it's the one you insert yourself or when you've purchased ready to go, is you want to remove the clock. And by the way, to remove the clock, these things are screwed into the back of the how the little box that come in, keep it from bouncing out. So you want to remove your clock. And then you're going to remove the clockworks, but before you even go to that much trouble, first thing you want to do is you want to test the battery for several hours. So this is going to take a long process, so this video is going to take some time. So we see it's working, but do we know that it's going to actually keep time? So where we're at now is we're going to set this aside. We're actually going to adjust the time to these three clocks behind us here because as we know they're all keeping perfect time. We want to make sure this clock keeps perfect time because you don't want to produce a clock for someone and the clock not work. Or if it works you don't want it to just sit on a wall and not do anything. So we're going to go ahead we're going to adjust this time real quickly and while we're talking let's just go ahead and do that. And uh, looks like it is 10.31 10.36 more or less so let's stop the second hand at right there straight up and here we go I'll we'll stop the second hand right there we're going to adjust this to 10.37 then we'll put the battery back in when it gets to 10.37 and that's where we're at right now so here we go so everyone stand by I'll tell you what we'll do if it keeps perfect time for one hour I usually test these things before I let them go out before I even make one I had to go get, get these clocks this morning I was looking for stainless steel could not find one in town and that's not a clock that you see every day and, and for what I was going to pay purchase price I didn't figure that Tonsi would want to spend that kind of money either so uh, I would like to have had a stainless steel bezel and back but anywhere from a throwaway clock works inside at $41 to $250 I wouldn't spend that much money either because it's just a clock no one uses clocks anymore much but still we appreciate those that are buying these clocks and we want to make sure she's got a good clock so we'll be back shortly. Alright, Tonsi, here we go. We've got the clock tested. 
and um, kept perfect time, very important. We've got it naked, we've got it ready to, uh, and we've got the clock face ready to go. This is clock face number two. Anyway, we've got the uh, fancy clock face with your logo on there is requested and um, we're about ready to uh, to assemble now I'm not going to bore you with that I'm going to go ahead and get that prepped both surfaces both back in the in the surface of the clock and we'll get that on there and we'll show that to you shortly oh hello we're back thought I better get a drink of water here so uh, we've got the clock face the hands back on and of course the requisite test one more time and that is supposed to be like a 10 second test which we'll do real quickly usually see the clocks are right about there on their hands when you get them so there we go we will make sure those hands are proper then we're going to go around and we're going to set the hands as you would see them in the store. Just like that, there we have our clock face. So now we want to assemble the clock. Let me see if I can get out of your way. I have to first locate all the pins. Which I wish I could show you that with the camera. But what you have to do is you have to locate these screw holes in the back to the face. And it's, I don't think I can get enough light on it for the camera to show you that. So we're going to go ahead, assemble the clock, put it back in the box, and show you that. And at that point in time, matter of fact, I'm going to put a battery in it. And that way, no, if I do that, then it won't look pretty, it won't have the hand set at the 10 and 2. So, okay, I'll assemble it and I will uh, put a, a battery in with the cam with the clock. That way, when you get it, all you gotta do is just take the thing out of the box, stick the battery in, you're ready to go. So, Tansy, Rib Grip, I hope you enjoy your clock. Hope it does you a wonderful job. And um, I look forward to coming out to Rib Crib seeing it hanging up out there where everyone can see that clock it'll make everyone proud hopefully and uh, i appreciate you very much hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe hit that thumbs up down there hit that notification bell and uh, once again we appreciate everyone coming by max's garage mall y'all come back and see me now you hear hey, it's just a joke i'm not out of here i couldn't leave without showing you the clock <laughs> there you go that is one rib crib Wall clock ready to go, and we will get it presented to uh, Miss Tansy shortly. And hopefully, she'll enjoy it for many years to come. And hope you enjoy this once again. Uh, I apologize for making a little joke earlier, but I was done. So I know Tansy wouldn't be happy with that. So <laughs> I know she'll get the joke, but most of you guys won't. So anyway, there you go. One rib crib clock with lights glaring all over the place the whole nine yards hope you enjoyed it so once again please subscribe hit that like button hit that notification bell share and y'all come back and see me now you hear